Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute just sit right there and tell you how I got stranded in a town called Toronto. That doesn't even rhyme. Sh shut up, Hubris! You were supposed to have a cool debut and stuff, and now you ruined it. Who cares? I'm literally a physical representation of your ego. <laughs> what ego? Anyways, today we're going to be talking about the time I was stranded in Canada. And yes, although I was born in Canada and live here now, I grew up in Iringa, Tanzania, which was a small town near the west coast. Down in Africa. But when I broke my arm, that's a story for another day, I had to go see a doctor. Not to diss the doctors in Iringa, but after they removed my cast, my arm was still bent. So I was actually sent to Canada to have it checked out, alone. To be honest, the flight was fun, mainly because I got a window seat. Those are my favorite. In the airport, I was what's known as a UM, a unaccompanied minor, and I got a personal escort, escort, and I got a personal escort. That fact alone made me feel like a VIP, but uh, it just meant I was a baby that required sitting. Hey, don't worry, you're a very important person. Soon we'll take over YouTube, then the world, and then the- The moment I arrived at my aunt's house after landing, I immediately ran to the basement and terraformed it for premium bingeability. But after a few weeks of this, my aunt had enough and sent me to school. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 It was a completely different school system, it was a way bigger school, and I knew nobody there. So I guess it's safe to say I was sorta weird. Well, at least to my classmates. Especially since nobody could pronounce my name. How? Real, wooly, whoa, uh, I don't, I don't know man, I, whoever you are, get out of here. It's Wooly! W-O-L-E. How is this so hard for people to understand? It's exactly how you spell it. One day the teacher gave us an assignment on history. It was supposed to be a big presentation where you made a little model as a visual aid. And since I was in that school temporarily, I didn't think I needed to do it. Ha! Screw you, education! Hey, Wario. Mr. Moss says you still need to do your presentation. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. That night, I ended up building a mousetrap car and called it a chariot. Even though it was just a dumb mousetrap car. No, 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 no. It was an amazing art piece, and in the future, people will look at it like they look at Picasso right now. So, ancient Egyptians had, had chariots, and I made a, a chariot. Look, it, it, it even rolls, so, uh, can I get an A now? To be honest, the trip was fun for what it was. Uh, I never actually ended up going to the doctor, which is kind of a waste of time. The entire trip kind of was meaningless. I had to go through nights of just homesickness. It was, it was, it was an experience. Okay, so I kind of hope you guys enjoyed the video, S -s smash that like button, join my Discord server, cause that place is poppin', and also, check out these cool people, right here. Thanks to, to Moz for, uh, recording some lines. Also, you, Geo, J Justin, Geomona, the man, the myth, the legend. Also, check out Crouton, she does pretty cool art, still hasn't passed 100 subscribers, let's do that. Mm, that's good. <laughs>